This video is about the advantages of asynchronous loading and the role that the manifest file plays in this. What you see on the screen here is a master detail app generated from the respective template in the SAP Web IDE. Before we get our hands dirty, let me summarize the advantages of asynchronous loading. When the browser loads resources asynchronously, it doesn't freeze. Tabs, for example, are still clickable and, in general, the app is input ready. The app loads faster because the browser can load resources in parallel. The app loads more smoothly. Let me elaborate a bit more on the first two topics. The browser doesn't freeze. This was improved in the framework with the sap.ui.define and the sap.ui.require statements that you can see in the box on the right side. This statement is used in controllers to load resources. The deprecated statements jQuery.sap.define and jQuery.sap.require do the same thing, but synchronously. So please don't use them anymore. Other places to influence how your app loads resources is the manifest file and the index file. The preload colon true setting in the sap.ui5 namespace and the async colon true in the routing configuration both in the manifest file and the data-sap-ui-preload equals async in the bootstrap of the index file. If you don't use a template in the web IDE, remember to make these settings yourself. I can show you the difference in loading in the Chrome developer tools. For a before and after comparison of the loading behavior, we'll go to the debugger tools, reload the app and observe what's happening on the network tab. Loading takes place somewhat in parallel, but not completely. We have the right remedy for this though, and now we go to the manifest file to add the property async colon true in the root view in the sap.ui5 namespace. Then we rerun the app. We can clearly see that our views load in parallel now. Also, requests to the backend should take place asynchronously so that they won't block the UI. The browser has only one thread for JavaScript, which leads to a frozen UI if synchronous requests are sent. A word of caution though at this point. Please check that you are not using parts of your app that are not loaded yet at a certain point in time, which of course would result in an error. The framework provides hooks like attach init for this. Attach init defines a callback function which will only be executed when the UI5 core is completely loaded. Require and define work the same way. The callback function is executed only if all resources are loaded. A few more words on the manifest file. The file is also known as the descriptor file. That's because it separates the application coding from the configuration settings and makes your app even more flexible. The configuration settings are loaded and evaluated before the application is started. In this video, we learned about the settings for asynchronous loading in the manifest to keep the video short. I hope this has been informative to you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.